hello 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 and welcome to my channel we are back in planet crafter um i was out doing a little bit of scouting and i came across this mysterious box out there on the edge of the map i set up a teleporter next to it but i can show you exactly how we get there and it's just odd it's sitting out there but after researching i found out i'm not the first one to find this box so it's not unique to my map but before we get started, I want to do a little tour base, show you some updates of where I'm at and what I'm planning on doing. But before we get started, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button down there. It means an awful, awful lot to me. I'm trying to get at least one on this video. And um, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this mysterious item. And um, hit that like button. Let's get going. <laughs> Alright, so this is my main hillside base. Um, I chose it for locality, but with the teleporters, it doesn't really matter where you set up base now. You could be on the edge of the world. Which got me looking around, but let me show you some of my base first before we go looking at that mysterious box. Um, this is my power room. I've got quite a few of these going. I want to have a bunch of them. So that way... If something happens again with the crystals, I've got crystals in tow. You know, I deconstruct one of them and I can get five. But yeah, we got plenty of these going. I got plenty of crystals stored up in my cloud storage. And still got some nukes I need to move out of here because we were trying to get crystals. I want to move all these out because I don't need them no more. Now let me show you why, because that'll be our first stop. Right over the hill there in the canyon. I have our canyon base. So this is the canyon with all the zeolites on top. I picked them, I picked them. Um, I tried to leave all the ones that I walk by regularly. So all the zeolites that I picked were ones that I don't normally come around. I wish I would have left that one though. But anyhow, so I got heaters in here. I was going to line this all up on both sides all the way through to the other side. But I think that's going to be a lot of heaters. And they're only tier 3 heaters. Yeah, only tier 3 heaters. Back at my other base I had the tier 4 heaters. But here... I got the entire roof system covered in tier 4 heaters. So I don't need the ones I have at my main base anymore. Anymore. Love this biome. Alright, let's head over to our um, next base. Talk about some changes over there. And that would be the cloud storage. All the way over there now. All right, let's talk about the cloud base a little bit. I've had a couple comments talking about my golden crates. Um, back in the day, there was a time where you could research blueprint chips and it would have unlocked the golden crate. But that only lasted for a short while. After, I think the next update, they actually removed them right away. I don't know why. But um, I kind of like them. You know, they're not as much storage because these has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 slots. And these golden crates have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. But it's almost the same size, just 5 short. That's kind of why I like them because, you know, they're a little bit more compact. I can actually build these in front of these and be able to access both of them at the same time like I have at my main base. But anywho, let's um, move on here. So my next task up here in this awesome, awesome base is to move all these out of here, including the um, storages. So I have everything set up for where I'm going to move these to. Let's go over there now, because that's about it 
for changes here. So all my food is being grown at the big beautiful valley over there. Here it is, my grow room. So every time I find a seed, I build a grow tube for it. They're only the tier one tubes, because they're so easy to uh, make. But the tier two ones, that involves fertilizers, which involves eight plants and a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, too much to be making a whole bunch of. And all it does is grow your vegetables a little bit quicker. But yeah, so I am not hurting for food. But I have all this space over here dedicated for those ones up in the cloud base. And then all this is going to be um, storage lockers for all the four different plants that we can pick. I can fill them all up and have plenty of food in store. Never know what comes in the future. Might need a whole bunch of eggplant for something. I don't know. But definitely going to be ready for it. So other than that, nothing else has really changed here with this. Um, we got the cave over there, we got the golden crate over there, and we got some trees, we got our golden sea trees, and that's about it for this base. Our aluminum, our alloy cave is in there. So let me, um, uh, I think next I'm gonna jump right over here to behind this wreck. Just because I'm so close. Basically, this last teleporter is my exploring teleporter. Instead of packing water and oxygen and all that, I pack a teleporter with me. So I just keep exploring until I need to get back somewhere safe. But I stopped it here because I noticed this unusual looking snake type terrain. I think this is going to be might be something for the future updates they wouldn't have done all that if it wasn't this really goes quite a ways here and it just goes on down but yeah it's on the back side of that wreck there over there's our thing so I'm going to put my teleporter back up so we can move on. And let's go to my zeolite cave. Let me talk about the plans for that cave. So I noticed my water level in here is not quite as high as everybody else's. Which I kind of like that. But I imagine it might get taller because the new cave that we showed you in the last video that they converted from osmium to uh, iridium and I couldn't build a drill miner in there is now flooded. I got a couple feet of water in there. It's not completely flooded but it's getting there so I imagine this might still come up some. But my idea for building a base in here is this right here. This is still too low. I want to go all the way up. I want to build my base across the ceiling. Because I think that would be so cool. I think this is neat down here. I want to put some uh, seed spreaders down here. Get some plant life growing. Maybe put some trees through here. Not a lot of trees. So I'll pick something like those golden seeds. I like them. They're not real thick and bushy. But it gives it a little something different. But yeah, that's my plan for in here. I'm going to use these crystals as lighting. And hopefully my base is always lit. We might make this my main base if we can get it all done right. I might make a video on that. That might that's gonna be my next video is building the Zeo Light Base Cave. So make sure you watch out for that. Um uh, definitely have a whole bunch of Zeo Light now. We're not working for that. Alright, so on to the next location. The sand waterfalls. Oh, uh, uh, crater base. So I've noticed this crater is changing shapes all the time. Now I have a little piece off to the side since the last time I was here. 
the, we had that whole vacancy where we could drop down and walk around and I said this would be an awesome place for a golden crate. That vacancy has changed quite a bit. I don't even think it's quite there anymore. Yeah, I think it's melting. So here's that vacancy, but it's it's not where you can drop down now. You can only come down and walk through it. Got a storm coming, but that's because I'm recording. We all know how that works. But yeah, this is changing shape. I don't know if it's slowly melting away. I think it'd be cool if it revealed like a tunnel or a way to a cave or something. But uh, let's go over here and get a drink of water. And we'll go run back up and get some air. Right over there is our mysterious base. That the base down here. Oop, somewhere down here is a base. There it is. So this one here gave us coordinates on the screen that told us how to get to that one up on the ridge. I don't want to go down there because I'm hurting for some air. Hurting for some air. Oh, we made it. Alright, so I don't have anything in here yet. I got the space for a lot of stuff. I even have a bio lab in here. Fertilizer. Remember we was talking about those? Look at all that. So, um... I'm not sure what I want to do with this area yet. I'm kind of waiting to see what the future holds. But, I want to get my bases set up. I want to get my teleporters all going. I want to keep an eye on this. Definitely want to keep an eye on this because this is changing. We got our cave over here. We got our cave over here. That's the zeolite cave, the first one. They added three more zeolites into that cave. So if you didn't go back and collect them, there's still some more in there now. All right, let's head over to. We did that. We did that. We did the sand waterfall. We're going to do that one. Uh, the sand cave. That doesn't have a base. It's just a teleporter. The ring base, nothing's changed over there. And that's where the box is. So before we get to the box, let me explain how I found this box. And we're gonna to go to the sand waterfall. So if you remember, my sand waterfall got buried. All my um, ore extractors and everything are underground. Right there's the tippy top of my very furthest ore extractor. You can hear it. So when it got buried, I decided to clip into the uh, clip into the map, get on the back side of this, and I put up my little ladder as close as I could. So if I walk through this compartment here, I'll be trapped on the other side of the sand. Now I can't get back in there. But what got me the idea is I was looking at um, oh darn it. I tried to turn around while I, when I realized when I was going the wrong direction. Alright. When I first accessed this, I didn't have the sides. It was just a long tube. So I added the sides. So I have a little bit of walking around room. And I had to add these platforms out here. The ladders. All this. To get to these ore extractors over here. These ore extractors are in the middle of nowhere right now. Because the scenery has changed since I placed them. So my thought was, we have some few areas left. Let's go back up to my cloud base because it's got the vantage point. Alright, I know it's dark. So we still have some areas of the map, like out there. That hasn't really been renovated yet. It doesn't have any mountain sceneries or any of that good stuff. So I wanted to place a few teleporters throughout there. Like at least three on each side here. So when they do add in the mountains. I could teleport right into the middle of the mountain and just start building. That's my plan. I hope it works out. But anyhow, with all my scouting around. 
I came across something I didn't think I was going to come across. Let me see. Do I have food? Do I have food here? I don't think I have food here. But that's okay. Where we're going is where we need to go. So, let's go to the big valley. Get ourselves some food before we die. So, looking here at the big valley, going off this way is the corner of the map. One of the corners. That is the corner that you want to aim for. I do have a teleporter over there, so I'm not going to walk all that way. Let's go. There it is. The mysterious box. And as you can see, we can open it. We can look inside. You won't believe what I found. But to show you that we are in the corner of the map, right over there is our big valley. I'm going to use the F4 so I can pop up into the air here and show you. That is the corner of the map right there. And right there is our crate. So if you're looking for that crate, you don't have to look very hard. You just got to reach the boundaries of the map in this one corner. As you can see, I can't go any more further that way. And I can't go any more further that way. I'm walking, but I'm not moving. And right there is our box. Why? Why so many blueprint chips? I don't know. There's going to be a reason. So we'll take them. I don't know what that reason is yet. But we'll take them. Oh, we can't put some water in there. You never know. We might need... We might be out here and starving or something. Don't know. Alright, so let's go back to our cloud story. We got a folder or a locker here for blueprint chips. That's a lot of blueprint chips. I'm hoping, let's test one out. Let's make sure there ain't nothing new yet. Right here. Nothing. So hopefully maybe one day they'll bring back those golden crates again. Um, I hope so, because they are pretty cool. I know a lot of people like to see them in their game. But I had started a new map. And I got the GTIs pretty high. If, I don't know if everybody remembers the really super sick forest I had down there. I had to give it up because I just had to come back to this map and finish it up because it had my golden crates in it. I couldn't craft the golden crates in any other map except for this one. So this has got to be my main map going forward. And right now my GTI points are pretty high. I'm feeling pretty good. We're going to go out and we're going to plop down a couple more of these... Uh, couple more of those teleporters I couldn't find that swatch area that had all the texture swatches together I think it either got covered or moved or taken out altogether I was pretty sure it was over there in that corner but I think it's been replaced with the box anyhow this is where we're gonna leave this video I need to get back to work I'm going to um, that's right I'm going to make a video on that zeal light cave so I'll get to work on that and let you guys enjoy this one and um, I'll see you next turn. Thanks for watching.